It was good. It's your boy, Miss Swanka7, here with a Q&A for the month of July in 2015. I got five questions. That's not too much, but you know what? This is actually something I can work with for a short video. Number one is, are you Chateau Artiste? For those of you who don't know, Chateau Artiste is a segment on... TRS.biz's weekly podcast, Daily Showa. Chateau Artiste is a segment. It's usually in the middle of a big ass discussion. Like after 30 minutes, they said, Sun pretty much interjects and says, Hey, I have an Artiste segment. Let's just take a break and listen to it. And it's usually a heavily edited conversation where I say, like, where it's just me babbling on about some shit chopped up and shit over the tune of Autumn from Vivaldi's Four Seasons. It's funny, it has a bit of a cult following. And I am the original artiste and the most common artiste. The other artiste, the sodomite apeling dude, subscribes to me on YouTube. But I'm not gonna blow up his spot. Number two, what is your ethnicity? I am a Dominican, a Dominican-American. I like to signal that I'm from DR. Well, not from DR, but that I am Dominican. I like to signal that I'm born and raised in New York, specifically Washington Heights. I brag about that shit. I take that shit with pride. Now, I'm not a mulatto. My dad isn't black. My mom isn't black, but my great-grandparent, my great grandmother from my pop side is either that or my great great grandmother. I haven't taken a twenty three in me, so I'm just going to take that at face value. I'm going to take my dad's word for it, and that's pretty much it. Now I've never been to the country of DR, and I'm. While I like to travel, I would like to go there one day. I could give two shits about that or anything else. My Dominican pride is similar to a Puerto Rican from New York's Puerto Rican pride. It's heavily New York City influenced and that's about it. Now, number three is what is the most right-wing musical genre? This is a difficult question for me because I listen to a lot of alternative music, which is heavily swiplified, and I'm starting to notice it's kind of shitty. Uh, nowadays, I listen to a lot more hip-hop, specifically New York kind, and nowadays, it's just Max B, so it's hip-hop. What are you going to get? You're going to get crap in terms of number of right wing elements to it but the most right wing genre I think would probably be EDM like some sets of EDM are pretty right wing in a LARPy sense now 70s punk sometimes could be right wing when it's not being commie and it's a little edgy but it's also a little cringy so I wouldn't be too focused on that. There is the Germs and the Ramones. I kind of like those bands, more so the Germs. I could see the right wing elements in that. I've also heard of Nazi punk bands, but again, that's more on the cringy side. In general, you'll probably find more right wing music in the EDM scene because swipples and hipsters like to stay away from genres of music that are inorganic for the most part. Of course, you'll find a swipple here and there that's into electronic shit, but exceptions don't disprove rules and collectives of exceptions don't either. 
Okay, LARPiest political movement on the right. I'm going to have to give the runner-up second place status to the All Nations Party, but I don't know how popular that is from Ryan Fox and... Again, when I saw it two years ago, I did laugh when I saw that on the West Coast side, specifically the Southwest Coast side, there was mestizo nationalists, which, yeah, I get it, but Fringe knows this stuff in terms of thieves and castes of people, but politically, there are so many dimensions to look to. Number one would probably be a very similar movement, which is the Renaissance Party of North America, which is Sebastian Ronin's thing. They have that pan-secessionist vibe, although they do try more diligently to actually be nationalists, not just pan-secessionists, and more so, they signal all over the place because of their interest in deep ecology and really hitting on America. They do that a lot. So I guess, yeah, they do signal a lot to the left wing and a lot of people who start there pretty much start off as left wing socialists and then they get put onto the movement and become edgy right wing racialists and things of that nature. So I do see some kind of fruitfulness from that movement, but it is pretty much a edgier version of Ryan Falk's thing. Again, I'm friends with both of them on Facebook, and I love me some Ryan Falk, I love me some Sebastian Ronan. I know that Ronan's an old soul and he's badass, but yeah... That is probably, that is most definitely the LARPiest political movement I've seen. Number five would be, are we a booze degenerate? And my answer to that is, yes. Weeaboo culture is degenerate, but it's not too degenerate. Like, I can go to an anime convention and think, yeah, there are some really weird souls, but there's also a lot of people that are kind of cool nerds in it, so it's not completely depraved. And to explain, to essentially flesh out what I mean by depraved and degenerate, I don't necessarily mean immoral or evil or just horrible human beings. I'm not thinking like that, of course. Like, they, they're just weebs. But I'm coming from more of a how cringy are they perspective because there is something wrong with being a little too cringy as a person, but you know what? I've seen a lot worse than weebs. I'm a weeb myself. Not as much as when I was 12, but still, I have the things that I like. You already know I'm into gaming. I used to be really into professional wrestling. I got, I like what I like. Anime is somewhere in that, along with soap operas. But, yeah. But to go on the far side of things and be an extremist after seeing all that moderate crap. If your profile picture is of an anime icon, that is where I go from seeing slightly degenerate to really, I'm just shuddering. But other than that, being a weeb is cool. I know there's a difference between otaku and weeb, but Otaku is Japanese for nerd. Weeb is pretty much 
something we all have within us to an extent. Because I'm sure anyone who has watched this video is into anime in some way, with two or three exceptions, who I don't think will be watching this video. Oh, it has been your boy, Mr. Rocka7. I'm done with this Q&A. This is my third take, and somehow, as usual, it's the longest take. But, I gotta do what I gotta do. Anyway, Uxe I may ikte, everybody. Yeah. Hold up. You're gonna see a little more action because I ended the video in the wrong way by clicking the X button or the red key in the corner. The red icon. Whatever, I'm just gonna say it again, but this time in English, not pig Latin. Suck my dick.